Hey guys, my name is Julian with Alltech Solar here in San Diego, California, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the differences, the pros and cons between solar plus battery storage and solar plus having a generator instead. And this is a very, very widely uh, hot debated topic nowadays, especially here in Southern California. It seems that I don't have a solar consultation nowadays without having a conversation about solar batteries when just a few years ago or a year ago even, it seemed to be more of a, a very like niche, uh, not too common conversation that I had. But now everyone is asking about batteries. And the reason why, if you're not familiar with what's going on down here with SDG&E, is that the high wind uh, advisories are basically just uh, causing uh, the power to be turned off in advance because they're worried about the, the lines falling over or trees getting knocked over from the winds and you know creating fires where as you already know you know California is in a fire hazard zone and so um, be, being such a problem being the problem that it is they're just saying in advance we're just gonna turn it off that way you know that that's the lesser of two evils for you to not have power versus you know, the city go up in flames. So that's kind of the situation we're in right now. So um, for those of you who don't know, the solar panels is what's going to help you source your power for a fraction of the cost as SDG&E. The solar panels is what saves you all the money. You should not be getting a solar, uh, sorry, you should not be getting a battery for storage or a generator to save money. Neither products are gonna save you any money. They're both for storage purposes. There's a cost associated with both for you to solve the problem of not having power during a blackout. The solar panels is what saves you all the money. So I just wanna make sure that you understand um, that because there's a lot of talk going on right now about how you can you know, basically arbitrage the energy from SDG&E and the, the amount of money that you're gonna save by playing this game of you know, charging up during the day and draining the, the, the battery during peak hours is a fraction of what the battery actually cost. Plus, if you have the battery on an automatic schedule to dump during peak hours, then you're draining it, and now if blackout happens, your, your battery is empty, and you've defeated the purpose of even having the, the battery backup in the first place. So um, you shouldn't get the battery in hopes that it's gonna actually save you money. It's only if you're trying to solve the problem of when, when a blackout happens, you need power. So. Um, there's two ways to go about solving this problem, battery or generator. Uh, so I wrote down a couple of important questions you should ask yourself in order to help differentiate the two products and see which one is gonna be a better solution for you. The first one is, do you even have the space for a generator? Um, you know, if you're in a town home or, um, you know, somewhere where you don't really have enough backyard or side yard or something, you know, somewhere for us to put the generator, then a battery is going to work better because we can stack it vertically against the wall. Question number two. Another thing is, are you sensitive to the noise? Um, or do you have an HOA that says you can't have a generator? I've heard of some HOAs saying you, they, you know, residents can't have generators because of the sound. Um, so that is also something to consider in the first place. And what is your goal? So if the idea of spending $25,000 on two Tesla power walls and then the grid going out and then a day into the outage, your, your batteries die, then are you going to think you made a $25,000 mistake when you could have just had a generator hooked up to the gas line and it works indefinitely or are you going to, you know, value the fact that it, uh, you know, it was silent and it's green and it's not costing you any gas, you know? Um, some people aren't really worried about the grid going out for a week and some people, even though it's not likely, they still want the capability of having themselves powered up for an entire week. or possibly a well pump. If this is the case, you're most likely going to need a generator because most batteries, the Tesla Powerwall 2 specifically being one of those, doesn't have enough output in order to jumpstart an HVAC system. So you'll need a generator in order to have enough uh, kilowatt output to, to turn the system even on. I know of some people out in East County, San Diego that are more off grid and they get their water from wells and Sunrun rolled through years ago and sold everyone batteries 
and pretty much told everyone that they were going to be able to run their wells and they couldn't and uh, that, that became a big problem. So if that is the case, or like I said, an HVAC system that you're wanting to back up, a generator is going to be your best bet. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the costs associated with both of these projects. So we'll start with the Generac. And so, um, like I was saying earlier in the video, um, the sizing that I sell for most residential applications are going to be a seven and a half kilowatt on the small end, a 12 kilowatt for the middle, up to a 24 kilowatt on uh, the big end if you want the big boy. Um, so the costs are going to start at around $10,000 for that seven and a half. Now these are out the door costs for all of the, you know, everything, all of the work associated with it, um, the plans and the permits you know, everything like that. So this is, these are the out the door costs. So you're looking at between 10,000 up to 20,000 for the generator, depending on which size and the specific situation, um, you know, that, that we're working with. Every project is unique. If you were looking at Tesla power walls, then we're gonna be starting at around 13 to 14,000 for one Tesla power wall. And you're gonna basically add around $13,000 you know, maybe a little bit less for each one as you add, um, you know, anything at scale gets a little bit less, but you're pretty much in for around $13,000 per battery. So um, right off the bat, um, you know, if you've com already kind of compared how many batteries you think you would need versus the kind of generator you, you think you would need, you can already tell that you're going to be able to get a lot more power out of out of the generator. So um, there's a lot more information that we could dive into, but I wanted to just put this out there because this video seemed to be overdue. I, I've been asked so many questions about it, and I just wanted to get this out there as soon as possible to help people um, know if you know what's best. You know, because at the end of the day, there is a pain right now that is very present here in San Diego. I, I'm hearing all the time about blackouts, like almost every night. If I turn on the news, I, I see some kind of warning about you know a certain zip code that's going to have their power out. So. Um, Give me a call at 760-473-5878 and I promise you, you won't find someone that's gonna take more time than me to really make sure you're getting the right uh, you know, product for you and, and the right setup. So